Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Spirit guys, please show me the energy. Alright. Yeah, this mask wanted to come out so bad. Um, we have the mask and the Grim Reaper. It's like somebody that was wearing a mask in this connection. I don't know if it was a divine masculine or the divine feminine, but you will know, right? There was some third party energy here or someone was wearing a mask, you know, like acting like there's something or someone who they were not collective. Um, you, you, you feel somebody like either didn't express how they felt or they just were wear, wearing a false mask, right? Or they were pretending. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a gaslighter here. Um, but it's like there's also an energy of like either this is someone who wants to take the mask off and wants another chance. But there's definitely energy here of the relationship being over, the connection, somebody saying, you know what, I'm done with this. It's not going to change. I'm gonna if I can't change you, I'm gonna change my life. I'm gonna change what I can do. That's the only thing I have control over. And hand the cards, take a risk. In reverse just came out. So it's like somebody here could be dropping some options if there was some third party and this person wasn't showing their hand. I feel like this person is getting ready to show their hand here. Or like this uh, this I feel like this is also um your energy collective where you're like I'm not willing to take another risk with this person. I'm done. I'm over. This is over for me. But somebody here is like, no, please. I, I miss you. I love you. I want to show you my affection. I want to show you how I feel. Yeah, but this person was a snake. You know? Or you have some jealous, en envy jealous, envious energy around you, which is karmic energy. So somebody here could have a karmic for those of you. You know who? You know who, you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's see how the divine feminine feels. And then we're going we're gonna to do divine feminine energy over here and the divine masculine energy on the right. Uh, and so whichever side will, you know, resonates for you. I feel like you guys are ready to take a risk and a step towards a new direction. Like you're just ready to take a leap of faith towards a new direction. You don't want anything from the past, anything that's breadcrumbing, anything that is, you know, talking to the divine feminine right now, right? Yeah, look at that. New. You want new. Ace of Cups. So some of y'all do have a new person coming in who wants to show some affection, a token of love. The, the, the divine is gifting the divine feminine new love, you guys. That's definitely, that's been obvious and evident in these readings here recently. So, um, yeah, look at that high priestess energy. I think you intuitively know this. You intuitively know this. This person could be a Pisces. You could be a Pisces. Or Pisces or water can be in somebody's chart here. But I just think this is you intuitively knowing this shit. Yeah, you know. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Cups, you know. You know new love is coming in towards you. I feel like Divine Feminine, you also know that the past is going to try to come back towards you too. Show me more here from the Divine Feminine. So you've been like kind of keeping to yourself, keeping quiet here. You haven't been saying quite a bit. Yeah, you know there's an Emperor coming in. This person could be an Aries. You know, you know. When you know, you know. Okay? And I feel like you guys know. You've been, like I was saying a minute ago, you've been like minding your own business for a sword, healing, resting, rejuvenating. You know what I'm saying? You've just been kind of chill, laid back. You haven't really been out on the dating scene too much. That's the energy this is giving, right? Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine here. So y'all have an Emperor coming in who's, who, okay, this could be the Divine Masculine. I feel like this is definitely new energy for sure. For, for some of y'all, this could be your Divine Masculine from the past. Who wants to apologize and reconcile. But you, you did it that. I don't think you want this. Show me the Divine Masculine from the past energy, please. Okay. Whoa, okay. The Empress. Y'all see that? They do know that you are the Divine Masculine. I mean, that you're the Divine Feminine. So they know that you're your person. <laughs> this is crazy. I see my spirit was like, no, stop what you're doing and do this reading.
So, how do they feel? Show me some my mind coming. Ooh, look at that. They know you are who you are. This is putting me in the mindset of I just heard Hope You Are Who You Say You Are by Janae. I don't know if that's the name of the song, but Janae Okoye. Hope you are who you say you are. Because um, if you aren't, then you would just break my heart. I don't remember the name of the song, but it's on her last album. Um, I forget the album, but if you just type in the lyrics, it should pop up if you have Apple Music. This person could be a Gemini. Somebody could be a Gemini or a Taurus here. They have, they, someone here has a choice to make. Maybe they are the ones who have a choice to make here. Yeah, ooh, tower card. So we have three major arcana cards here. This person knows this is major. This connection is like, you know what I feel like, collective? The divine masculine, I feel like, may have cho made the wrong choice. And whatever they made this, this choice for, a different connection, it's like, Either this person is making a shocking decision, this is the decision that they're going to make is going to be very shocking, or this is energy of them picking somebody else and that being crumbled to the ground by the divine because that's what a tower moment is. The divine saying, no, 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 this is on false beliefs, this is on false hopes, this is not supposed to be... This was not supposed to be the choice that you were supposed to make. This was all on like a... 3D, this was a 3D connection, not built on the 5D, not stable. All right, give me how do they feel about this divine feminine? Ooh, in regret. Yeah, they're in regret. I'm telling you, this person is regretting the decision that they're ma they made or they're regretting this tower moment. You know, six of swords. This is energy of like, how do I, how did I get myself into this mess and how do I get myself out of it, right? How can I get out of this conflict? Ooh, let's clarify this. Uh, oh, King of Cups just fell over here on top of your uh, on your side. Look at this King of Cups and Justice card. I think this is your karmic justice. This is a new person. Libra energy. This is a new person. This didn't just fall over here for no reason. Whoever this new person is, Divine Feminine, I feel like. It's karmic justice coming in for you. I mean, your the energy on your side is so great. It's so good. It's so, so good. All right. Why are the lovers here? Clarify the lovers. This is so crazy how, like, the two of you are showing up. So the both of you know what is what. Yeah, the lovers. And somebody's reevaluating a decision that they made, like I said. Yeah, the Hermit card, Virgo energy, and this decision has affected their entire life because there's this is damn near all major arcana cards. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Uh oh, these cards want to fall out of my hand. Page of because they want to make it okay. I made a decision. You could be dealing with a younger earth sign here. Somebody could be a younger earth sign. This is about an offer that was made. Why is the tower here? Or it's going to be shocking that this person comes in and brings you an offer, King of Swords. Yeah. This person, when they made this decision to do what they did, they, they made a decision not based on emotion. They made a decision based on logic, based on something else. This, for some of y'all, somebody could have had a family, right? Or they made the decision based on money, Ten of Pentacles. But now they're in this Five of Cups energy. Regret, remorse. You know, yeah, Six of Pentacles. Let's pull some energy. Show me more here about this Divine Masculine, please. Show me more of the Divine Masculine's energy. Yeah, they know this is over. They know this is over, collective. You see that? They know this is over. They know they broke your heart one too many times. Show me more for the divine masculine. 
Yeah, see, this is you. This, this, I believe this is you. They feel like you are standing your ground and you're standing up for yourself. You're defending your decision. You're not backing down. That's how they feel that you feel. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, out. You, they feel like you threw them out. Your old, outdated news. This is old. This person's thinking about the past memories. They can They know. They know. Show me more of my master. I'm telling you. Look at this. This person is mad depressed. Mad depressed. A lot of these are the same kind of similar cards. So I don't know why this camera keeps shaking, y'all. Sorry. Some of these similar cards are. If you you have Libra in your chart, go look at Libra's reading. Show me more here. Because Libra had a new love coming in too. And, and their divine masculine was in the same energy. Yeah, you're chill. I'm telling you, you are booked and busy or you're just minding your own business if you're the divine feminine. And they feel like you do not care. Somebody who could smoke cigarettes or have purple hair um, or have bangs or something for some of y'all. Yeah, you're just, this person feels like they're, the divine masculine feels like they're running out of time. Um, They better hurry up before this new love comes in because they know the new love is coming in. They know. They may be looking at tarot readings. Um... Or they may have gotten a tarot reading. Show me the divine feminine energy here. Divine feminine energy. Yeah, you know they're missing you. And you you low-key miss them too. But you know this person's missing you. I mean, the high priestess did show up on your in, in your energy. So you are very intuitive. Um, yeah, you know this person misses you. And you know they're going to call you. And you know you're going to hear from them soon. Yeah, but you let them go. You let them go. Mm -hmm. Show me divine feminine energy, please. Divine feminine energy. Yeah, listen. You said, you know what? I know this is a divine. This is my divine counterpart. I know this is my emperor. However, I had to let them go because now is not the time, right? You know they are. You know, you know this. You know this person is like upset with you for not talking to them or this person you know this person's in this desperate energy or that could have been the energy they put you in when they played all these mind games when they had you you know it's like when they had you you were in such confusion at one point show me the divine feminine's energy yeah, you're not, I cannot make this. Thank you, Spirit. I can't make it up. Divine Feminine, you are not interested. You do not care. You're not trying to hear anything. You know when this person comes back towards you, try to apologize, gaslight, delude, continue to wear the mask, or you feel like they haven't changed. You're not trying to hear it. Somebody here could have a brown dog, a small brown dog. <clears throat> yeah, some of you guys talked to your friends about the situation a long time ago and you did what you were supposed to do. Or you could have heard some sort, sort of gossip too. Like, you know, you could hear that this person is, maybe this person tries to reach out to a friend of a friend in another group. You know. Ooh, ooh. And maybe you might hear about that. Or they may try to reach out to a mutual friend of yours. Show me how this divine masculine feels. Show me how this divine masculine feels. Yeah. They know the two of you are... You, you're ahead of them when it comes to healing. We don't share the same values. Like, this person needs to get their life together. I feel like, yeah, I still have feelings for you, though. But they still love you. But this person hasn't healed... They haven't done the work. You're far ahead in the process than this person is. How does this divine masculine feel? I feel the sexual tension, so they miss you sexually. I wish we could go back. How does this divine feminine feel? Give me some energy for the divine feminine, please. I daydream about a life with you. You let me down. Yeah. You, this person, let this divine masculine let you down. You used to think about what it would be like to have a family with this person. 
um, to be with them, you know, to level up and have Ten of Pentacles with them. But this person lets you down, you know. But you've gotten over most of the heartbreak here. Come on, family, please. Yeah. Your intellect arouses me. So you feel like you, you know that the, your divine masculine is so smart, right? Um, but they aren't making smart decisions. They're not making smart choices. You know, they're really only doing what benefits. They only did what benefited them, I feel like. And I feel like that's low-key the same energy that they're still in. Show me more here between the divine feminine. Well, show me more for the divine feminine. All these cards going straight over the divine feminine. Twin flame. Some of you all, your divine masculine is, is a twin flame. All right. This could have started out as a friendship. Um, or maybe your twin is like, I'll do whatever to stay in your life and just be a friend. Show me more here for the divine feminine. Definitely some mirroring happening here. I feel like boundaries. Yeah, you set firm boundaries with this person. I'm telling you, you did. <clears throat> yeah. You, you Because there was some sort of third party, like I said, some decision that this person didn't make or they did make. They're experiencing a tower moment, though. Unplugged, like I said, four source energy. You're uninterested. You're not trying to hear anything. You know. Um, actually, let me get some from the Divine Masculine. Show me the Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine needs to focus on themselves, but they can't focus on themselves because they're too busy focusing on you. We have self-care and obsession. Like, they can't focus on themselves. They can barely focus on the things that they're doing. Look at this marriage in reverse, right? Marriage in reverse. Somebody could be going through a divorce, okay? Uh, this could have been somebody that you divorced or you, you, or, you know, were in a long-term commitment. Let's see what the Divine Masculine wants to say to you. I've been dreaming of you even when I'm away. Like I said, this person can't do the simplest task because they're obsessing and thinking about you, right? Obsessing and think. I don't know why this card... I'm sorry. Like, it just... It keeps... I'm coming out of focus. Oh, uh, show me what the divine masculine wants to say. Let me know in the comments. Is this? Um, they said I love you all too much. I love you. You are worthy of so much more than I can give right now. Yeah. I mean, they know that. I think you know that. It definitely looks like you know that. I don't think, I think you know they're going to call, they're going to come back. I think you also know intuitively there's new love for you and you're over with the game. Like, you're done. Like, this is over. The, you're, there's not going to be another chance. You're trying to, you know, move to another level after you've done, done your healing work. You're trying to change and transform your own life. You want your karmic justice. You know what you deserve. You're following your heart towards this new emperor. This Knight of Cups is energy of following your heart, by the way. Okay. And this and this is leading your move it's moving right in the direction of this emperor. They the, oh they said you're really sexy. I feel like this new person is gonna find you very sexy too. Okay. I was never ready for you to leave. I need you. They said I need you, collective. Well, you know. <coughs> bottom of the deck is, wait, can y'all see that? I can't completely give up on this. Um, show me future energy for the Divine Feminine. Future energy, uh oh. <coughs> Future energy for the Divine Feminine. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm coughing. Listen. 
Keep your options open when it comes to dating and love, okay? Use your intuition. You'll know who the one is, your next person. You're going to know. But I feel like there are a couple different options coming towards you. Um, but I also feel like this person is going to come back again um, when they find out that what the option that they chose is not working out for them. It didn't work out for them. They couldn't replace you. And now they want to come back. And they're hoping you're waiting on them. Show me future energy. Yeah. Don't ignore the red flags. I feel like when this person comes back towards you, they're still not showing you something or telling you something. Okay? They're still not revealing something to you. Future energy. Okay. This person really, really fears losing you. Like that's their greatest nightmare divine intervention will help bring the two of you together spirit is not revealing so for some of y'all spirit is not revealing that it's something you know this might be unfinished business between you and your divine masculine so just know for those of you who have unfinished business with this divine masculine from the past you might have a choice in between the past and the new person or whatever but this new person is showing up in great energy i'm just saying i feel like this past person it may take a conversation you know Show me energy for the divine masculine, please. But they want you to listen to them. They're choosing to follow their heart and not waste any time. They're gonna come. This person definitely feels like timing, timing. Remember, is like they're stressed out about this new, like losing you, new love. Show me the divine masculine's energy. So it might be required of you, spirit might be asking you to just listen to the divine masculine from the past when they come back towards you. That might be what you decide to do. Just close the door, have you, you know, some clarity, you know, to close out the cycle says missing you. Being without you has been too hard to bear. Their happiness is with you. This person is like about to crack at any moment. This is days, hours, the time is now. Timing is just keeps popping up. At the bottom of this, this is sooner than you think. Right? Slow and steady. Some old feel fears will still linger, but they want to get to know you better. Don't rush it. Take your time. Slow and steady within six months. <clears throat> so, so for some of you this is happening within days and hours and some of you maybe six months period or you could be meeting a new person within six months show me for the divine masculine it's definitely going to be sooner than you think though July some of you guys is going to be in July alright let's get you some advice What's the advice for the Divine Feminine, please, Spirit? Divine Feminine, your advice is Spirit confirms that you are ready to take that leap of faith. Trust that Spirit has your back 100%. This leap will open doors to amazing changes in your life, so go ahead and jump already. The time is now. Yeah, you're ready to take a risk, full energy, like I was saying, towards something new. Show me Divine Masculine advice. Advice for the Divine Masculine. I'm trying to make these readings like for everybody. So let me know if you guys like them in the comments. Especially if you're a Divine Masculine. Male or female, right? Doesn't matter. Oh, you got two. We'll take it. Divine Masculine, your advice is. Spirit says it's time to stand up and speak up for yourself. Understand that you are not a doormat for people to walk and talk over you. And neither do you deserve to be treated as such. Remember that you have the power to say no more. Some of y'all might, they might have to put your foot, you might have to put your foot down to a karmic or somebody here for your own sanity and your own happiness. The divine feminine, oh, I'm sorry, maybe this is for the divine feminine and the divine masculine. It says, if you just went through a heartbreak, spirit is here to remind you that pain is only temporary. Allow yourself to feel in order to heal. Trust that this too shall pass. So yeah, the divine, we know the divine masculine, you are depressed a little bit um you're like not really standing up for yourself you know you chose and make a decision based on stability or something that was a false or a false foundation this is coming crashing down now we're in this tower energy and this five of cups energy you know what i'm saying it's like well 
What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? I'm heartbroken. This didn't work. I didn't make the right decision. My time is running out. My divine feminine has got new love coming in. Well, it's time for somebody to change their outdated beliefs. You know, that's what this tower card is. Spirit says when your thinking is outdated, also with this uh, hermit, it's meant for you, if you're the divine masculine I'm talk, talking to you, it's meant for you to come out of this energy and let this crumble and then see the bigger picture. It's not about the picture frame. Um, it's, I mean, it's not about the picture. It's the picture frame, right? It's a, somebody's not seeing the whole, the whole, the whole thing, right? It's in perspective. But I think they're coming to this realization now, or you are, if you're the divine masculine, for sure. So, uh, zodiac signs we saw here again: Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, right? But uh, oh yeah, and Scorpio. But you could be any. Oh, and then we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you can be any sign. Younger, Capricorn. Uh, um, and a bunch of water. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.